Witches, number 11, Brooke Lopez. Starting at shooting guard, 64 inches, number 0, Dante Vincenzo. The other guard, 61 inches, number 6, Eric Bledsoe. Starting at small forward, Six feet, seven inches, number 22, Chris Milton. The six by four, Chris, number 34, Giannis Adetokounmpo! The head coach of your home team is Mike Wendenholzer. Once again, your Milwaukee Bucks. Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. GA, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks very much. We have all heard the rumors regarding Kyrie Irving's moodiness. His teammate Kevin Durant said, Kyrie is an artist. He has his way of doing things, and I support him 100%. Irving said, Human beings have mood swings. I don't have to be perfect. My teammates know who I am, and I'm proud of who I am. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. I see the stat sheet here for Kyrie Irving. And you can see the surge in his level of confidence lately. Just by looking at that true shooting percentage, it's been moving straight up in the past five games. I think he's feeling it. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. Lavert and Durant out on the perimeter. Ilias Ova out there with Allen, and it's Irving in at the point guard position. And for Milwaukee, Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there at Bloodson, and it's Middleton in at the three side. Greg, at the beginning of every season, we love to see players that have worked on something during the offseason that they now have added to their game in the new season. No doubt about it, Kevin. You know, the work doesn't end when the season ends. Uh, if you're trying to improve your skill set or if you're trying to just put on muscle, that kind of stuff needs to be done during the break. You need to have an assessment in the off right after the season. Hey, where can I get better? And then you spend the offseason on that challenge. Season never really ends. Bucks passing it around. And the slam dunk by Hunter Kumbo. And Amina Kumpo is so long. I mean, he stretches forever, covers a ton of ground. Irving kicks to KD. Out of bounds. Next ball as Brooklyn keeps possession. Milwaukee on D. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Yeah, the easy hoop assisted by Allen that time. He's developed a nice passing game. Here's Antetokounmpo. Banked in off the glass. Giannis has got his second bucket of the night. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. And the basket is good. Flashing those crazy handles. I mean, major rush hour handles. So fun watching Irving handle the ball the way he does. Now here's Budzo. He's coming off a 19-point game against Chicago. And a lot of those points came at the free throw line. Really because of his aggression. He, he was playing the game with force, always catching his man on his heels. Now here is Irving following the miss by Giannis. It sure was textbook, and Irving is fantastic in the screen roll. A solid decision maker in these sets, and he also can put it in the basket himself if he needs to. He gets that one. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Yeah, and checking out the numbers for Annie Takupo. The last 10 games, he has been on a heck of a run. Third in blocks. 
seventh in steals, and he's an elite glass eater, a factor inside among the top ten in rebounds per game. And you aren't top three in blocks unless you're committed to dominating in that category. His awareness and hustle is off the charts. Very impressive. Here's Irving following the basket by Brooke Lopez. KD on the wing, defended by Middleton. And it's Bledsoe with the ball for Milwaukee. And Eric Bledsoe, a special kind of athlete. And three separate knee surgeries in the rear view. But still so fast, his teammates call him Ferrari. The way he's built, a muscle car might be more accurate. Lopez outside. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Jared Allen. Because of his strength and his athleticism, he kind of burrows his way inside and gets contact because he's looking for it. No fear from Bledsoe there. This is his first chance at the line tonight. free throw good from Bledsoe you know one of the things I'd like to see Bledsoe improve on is his passing other than that I think his overall game is pretty solid that one falls so he hits both of them Brooklyn's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game Irving passes to Durant Clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Durant's got his second basket of the game. Ludzo dishes to Atatakumbo. Passes it to Middleton. A three-pointer is right on target. Rhythm and timing so important in the game of hoop. Middleton using both on that pull-up jumper. Irving kicks to Ilias Hope. Here's Allen. Lee pass was put in just the right spot. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. DiVincenzo passes to Antetokounmpo. Now here's Middleton. And a great assist by Bledsoe as that one goes in. Middleton's got a couple of threes now in the first of the Bucks. Allen, that's good. Irving doing a nice job there being creative and efficient with that beautiful assist. Elias Ova against Giannis. And Giannis throws it down. Oh, and how about squeezing the orange as tight as he could there before the stuff? Yeah, no way he's going to lose that thing on the way up. Better safe than sorry, right? Now here's Lavert. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Six to shoot. Releases. Milwaukee with the rebound. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Middleton, a scorer by nature. That time showing you he can find his teammates, too. Now, here is Irving. Last game out, we saw him pour in 42. Durant for three. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the miss. Bucks leading by five. Here's Middleton. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Good on the bucket. Durant's got six. Man, it's so impressive the way Durant gets that floater off so fast. I mean, at nearly seven feet tall with guard-like quickness, that should almost be out there. Taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. And the first timeout call to the game for Brooklyn.
change here. Hills check in. And then for Brooklyn, DeAndre Jordan comes in for Ilyasova. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Karis LeBert. Allen outside. Jordan high post. That shot misses. Some solid defense from Kumbo. Middleton outside. And the three off target. Nets trail by five. The three from KD. That miss is his fourth this game. He's shooting three for seven from the field. Pass to Middleton. Nice defense from KD. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. From deep. They get the rebound. Hell, down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Boy, I tell you, this guy just does not quit on the boards. His energy is contagious, especially on the offensive glass. Middleton inside the three-point line. There it is, his third basket. He's taken seven shots to get those three. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. Now, here's Adetokounmpo. Jared Allen unable to get his last shot to go. Somebody came to play tonight. Six out of his first seven. Irving passes to Jordan. Allen with it. Now guarded by Bledsoe. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Dinwiddie with the bucket. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And so Giannis will bring it up for Milwaukee. Four-point game. Takes the 13-footer. That one doesn't go. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense in that one. There's all kind of talk in the game today about stretching the floor. Oh, oh the power on that through And when the Greek freak takes flight, I mean, he's looking to tear that rim apart. So ferocious in his throwdown. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Boy, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Here's Irving, and that one is off. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. They're getting the first look of the season at the Nets in this one. And they usually came out on top when these two teams faced off last year. No surprise, they're the better team. Yeah, and very tough to beat when they're playing up to their capabilities. That's why they're one of the top teams in the league. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Well, you know, it's been all high percentage shot for them so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want in the first half. Shot clock at six. A nice shot by Katie. Boy, being able to score from any place on the court makes Durant a space creator for his team. I mean, it's not just inside. It's not just threes. It's that mid-range game, too. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing very little resistance. That's why their offense looks so good in that one. Well, I think it was a combination of things, quite honestly, but the defense didn't really offer them a challenge all night. I agree with that. Checked in for the Nets. Torian Prince comes in for Kevin Durant. Bucks leading by six. Antetokounmpo passes to Lopez. Kicks to Burks. For the three. Jordan with the rebound. The Nets shooting well right out of the gates here at around 50%. Here's Irving. Rebound Milwaukee. Giannis has got four rebounds now tonight to the paint, and it's Hill with the jam. You know, when you see Antetokounmpo make a pass like that, it tells you just how much he's matured and grown as a player and decision-maker. Lopez with the block. 
Here's Giannis. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. A nice shot by Irving. You know, big guys like Jordan who can facilitate are really valuable. Spots the open man and gets it right to him. There's the lob into the combo. And out of bounds is Brooklyn Gaines' possession. That's not sure what he was thinking about with that pass. Just sailed it right out of bounds. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. Determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively. Superb anticipation on the block. Nets trail by eight. Outside Irving. Pass to Dinwiddie. Let's the three fly. That one doesn't drop. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Here's Burks. Dinwiddie with the rebound. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. Gone a rock. Burks against Irving. Beyond the arc. But they'll get another chance. And Lopez did exactly what he had to there on that defensive stop. He just got right in his face and made it tough for him. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Regarding the mental aspect of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo had this to say earlier. Definitely the game has slowed down a lot for me. I'm able to know where my team is going to be. I'm able to get to my spots. And know, I know my spots. And uh, I don't score on accident no more. I score because I know, OK, I'm going to get to that spot, try to make a play for my teammate or make a play for myself. Well, Greg, that might be why they put up so many points. They all know the roles. They've got the right recipe for everything they want to do on offense. Yeah, his awareness plus unselfishness puts defenders in a no-win situation. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And for the Bucks guys, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. George Hill out there with Alec Burks. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, if you just look for a few minutes at Giannis Adentokupo on the court, you know why he's called the Greek Freak, but it's the drive that makes him an MVP. He said people try to make it complicated. Life is simple. You know what you want, go get it. Do what it takes every day and don't lie to yourself. Guys, I hope you understand I'm being truthful in all of these reports. Back to you. Love the intensity. David, thank you. And, you know, this is why people are so high on Antetokounmpo. I mean, his build and skill set are both platinum level. And he knows how to kick his game up a gear, too. Here's the pass to Lavert. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Lavert's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And, guys, Karis Lavert can do so much while he's on the basketball floor. The problem for Lavert is just staying on the basketball floor. Yeah, injuries have really slowed him down the last couple of years, Greg, and it's unfortunate because this kid's an outstanding player. He gets it done in every way as a wing scorer. He can make plays, he can defend, he can score the ball. Lavert says he tries to model his game after Penny Hardaway, and if he can stay healthy, I don't think that comparison's too far off. Free throw good. Giannis. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Milwaukee. Ilyasova, he's checked in for the Nets. All free throws good from out of the combo. 
Giannis Antetokounmpo has said he doesn't want people calling him the MVP because he doesn't want to relax. He said he fears failure, so he has got to get better. Here's Dinwiddie. Second chance shot, and he lays it up and in. Dinwiddie's got seven points. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Passes to Antetokounmpo over Ilias Hoba. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Well, Greg, there's been some debate. What do you think? Is Giannis the best player right now in the world? I tell you what, if there's a conversation, he has to be in it. You know, some people might go with Kawhi, Kevin Durant. He's coming back. LeBron James is there as well. But Giannis is probably the guy to lead that conversation. The Bucks have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. At the line for two. That's good from Lopez. And Brooke Lopez a little bigger and more of an offensive player than his brother Robin. But they've both turned into quality big men in this league. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. My kind of hoop. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. And you know what? He does. I mean, in the NBA, you've got to have ways to score over defenders of all sizes. Here's Giannis. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Andre DeCumbo's got six here in this quarter. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Here's LaVert and the rejection by Andre DeCumbo. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Andy Kumbo. Peyton, he's checked in for Brooke Lopez. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Dinwiddie. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Bucks leading by three. DiVincenzo passes to Antetokounmpo. To the middle, here's Grant. Pass to DiVincenzo. The Bucks working the ball around. Just five on the clock. Offensive rebound, and the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bucks? You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage in the paint so far. And the other thing that's been equally as effective is the fact that they've gotten out on the fast break. A lot of points coming in transition. Chris Middleton's checked in for Grant. Hey, you know, as dominant as the Greek freak is offensively, the tendency is that people overlook his impact at the other end of the floor. I mean, you could make a case that he might be the league's most versatile defender, too. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Ilyasova. Pass to DiVincenzo. Here's Grady. A second-chance effort, and that one drops. Giannis has got 11 points in the quarter. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Peyton against LaVert. Back to Dinwiddie. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Inside. Takes it down to Middleton. And the pass to Antetokounmpo. Shoots from the baseline. And he knocks down the jumper. And it's an eight-point Milwaukee lead. And he's won MVP. But would it surprise you to see Giannis win the defensive player of the year? before his career is done. No, it would not surprise me, Greg. I mean, he's an elite rim protector. He's an outstanding rebounder on both backboards, and he's disruptive because of his length and athleticism and his tenacity and passion. Don't discount that. 
You look at Enetokounmpo really making a difference here. And he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. change here. Bledsoe's checked in. Jared Allen's checked in for Brooklyn. Durant comes in for Torian Prince. Pass to Katie. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And Kevin Durant, one of the greatest scorers to ever play. I mean, not the most prolific scorer, but perhaps the most talented. He's dangerous from any part of the floor. Greg, as scores go, Kevin Durant's as efficient as any. Uh, I mean, Durant has an insane field goal percentage for the shots that he takes. I mean, when you factor in how many threes he puts up, it gets even more impressive. Durant takes so many shots where he's covered and is still efficient. It's it just mind-blowing. And he makes both free throws. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. And to Takumbo. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. He struggled mightily at the free throw line in their last game. Yeah, it wasn't his best performance at all from the strike. He's got to put it behind him, and I know he'd like to immediate. And somehow it's become a real struggle at the free throw line. He's lost his way there. I mean, he's not having anywhere near the same success he had there last season. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. And the double up on Kumbo. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And the Bucks with possession here. Bledsoe kicks to DiVincenzo. And the double up on it to Kumbo. Launches it. And DiVincenzo is good for three. DiVincenzo's got the lead up to 11 now for the Bucks. And so it's Dinwiddie with it. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. When this game is done, they'll be off to Orlando and they'll take on the Magic. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. And the rejection by Giannis. No one near Peyton as he lets it go. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. Bledsoe's got five assists in the game. Nets trail by 14. Dinwiddie passes to Allen. Back to Dinwiddie. That one is good again. He's six for eight from the floor with the basket. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. Milwaukee's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Here's Bledsoe. Back to Anadokounmpo. Over Allen. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. you got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter. Actually destroying the opponent. Brooklyn's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Bledsoe comes over to help. It's Levert on the wing. No good with the triple. Bucks leading by 14. Here's Hunter. Oh! Mercy, mercy me. And I tell you, it's ridiculous how much space Antetokounmpo covers in just two strides. I mean, the way he handles himself going to the basket, man, it is one sight to see. Here's Allen. It's hauled in by Giannis. Giannis has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Once so, taking his time here. And Giannis throws it down. 
Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Timeout called the Nets. You know, you look at the 2020 class for the Basketball Hall of Fame, Greg, some great names. Headline by Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, Kobe Bryant. I mean, historic players. And all the more emotional, Kevin, having Kobe enshrined after his tragic passing. But yes. when you look at the accomplishments of this class, arguably the most decorated that the Hall of Fame has ever seen. And Greg, you've gotten a bird's eye view. You've gotten a front court view. You've had a, a chance to, to be alongside these Hall of Fame players. Uh, incredible talents, great people, and, and truly they've been terrific ambassadors for our game. I just got the the bunch with some changes. Alec Burks comes in for Dante DiVincenzo and George Hills subbed in for Peyton. And then for Brooklyn, Jordan, he's checked in for Ilyasova. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Karis LeVert. Bucket is good. Irving's got 11 points. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Down low. And Giannis with the basket on the assist from Eric Bledsoe. Bledsoe's got assist number eight now on the night. Irving from long range, and he's good on the three ball. Irving's got five points now this quarter. Irving knocking down that three textbook form, too. Never rushes anything. Mechanics are efficient and effective. Pass to Middleton. And another three for Milwaukee. And this really is the story of the game. They've been outstanding from beyond the arc, especially in the second quarter. Pass to Irving, the 11-footer. Out of bounds, Milwaukee takes possession. And we've got a quick moment now to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Jarrett Allen. On the boards, he's been a much bigger presence these last few years than he had been prior. And he can be counted on now to make an impact with his rebound. And that's a product of all the work he's put in down low. And they pick up two. Bledsoe's got his second bucket. Not lacking confidence in the scoring ability inside. Bledsoe knows he can do damage from there. The pass to Irving. Hill pulls it in. Whoops. Got caught in between moves there on his way to the rack. And they double up Giannis. Burks against Durant. Burks can't get it to go. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. I mean, even from over here, you could see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. The first free throw is good. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Milwaukee. Free throws, good for Dinwiddie. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. We know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Boy, the added work in the weight room for Giannis coming into play there. I mean, you got to send an army to try to stop this guy. Dinwiddie passes to KD. That's all good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. You know, the defense has to be better. I mean, you can't give up that look. Back to Anadokounmpo. Count that one. Giannis has got 45 points. That's their third straight make off an assist. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Boy, he's got outstanding balance. Kyrie Irving is so good at converting through contact. For a little guy, he's one of the best I've seen. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. 
And, and you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. Matter of fact, a lot of his points came from the stripe. He was feeling it. Yeah, guys, I mean, he's been a very steady hand for them when it comes to his free throw shooting. Grant, he's checked in for Milwaukee. That free throw good from Kyrie Irving. Hard to keep up with Irving. I mean, this guy knows how to get to the line. He's a multi-dimensional scorer, always attacking. Lopez finds Antetokounmpo, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Antetokounmpo's got 47 points. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. That one falls. And that's now 19 points for Kyrie Irving. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? And the shot goes in. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And, you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. A nice shot by Irving. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Now, Antetokounmpo, outside Hill. And a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. Antetokounmpo's got his third assist on the night. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Chris Middleton. Chris, a big effort from you guys in the first half. How do you keep that momentum going? Come out with energy, you know, just try to keep pushing the ball and uh, get stops. We know that's Coach's emphasis, Chris. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. Looks like this could be an upset in the making. I'm Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a big-time first quarter for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had a scoring performance for the ages, putting up an enormous amount of points, three assists and two blocks. And Kenny, what did you think about what we saw from Milwaukee? Well, we're seeing Giannis in attack mode. He's playing with real tenacity and making every shot count. It's a relentless seed and the other team is struggling to recover from it. And over to Shaq, what do you think about Brooklyn? Well, they gave up too many good looks. Look at the field goal percentage against them, it just tells the whole story. Not enough activity defensively, not enough disruption, Ernie. Like, Kenny disrupts me all the time, not enough disruption. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You look at Antetokounmpo, and this game has been everywhere. Yeah, pretty much all throughout that first half, and he was taking care of his business on the low blocks and getting more than his fair share of dunks. Guys, he's been in beast mode down low, asserting his will. The defense has been helpless, unable to slow him down. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. Irving and Lavert are at the one and two. Jared Allen is out there with Ilias Hova. And it's KD in at the small forward. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Took him no time at all on that one. Irving's got the first basket of the second half here for the Nets. Giannis passes to Middleton. Here's Lopez. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. It's three on three on the fast break. And that one's good. Durant. 14 points for KD. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. No one covered. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. Allen outside. 
On its way from Irving for two. Rebound, Milwaukee. Andre DeCumbo's got double digit rebounds now in the game. DiVincenzo passes to Andre DeCumbo. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three point play. So it'll be Giannis Andre DeCumbo shooting. It's on Jared Allen. The Bucks have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. throw good Giannis yeah Anna the Kumpo has really learned how to get himself to the foul line it's one of the easiest ways to score the ball he gets to the stripe at a higher clip with each passing year and the shot goes in Irving's got 25 points that's three of four here to start the half and it's Bledsoe with the ball for the Bucks. They've got the Timberwolves ahead of them next in Minneapolis that'll be just one game played away from home for them don't challenge him. Get that out of here. Allen's almost seven feet now. He's got excellent timing and good bounce. And Bledsoe has it in the corner. Good. He hits again. And this game has his name written all over. Greg, he's been phenomenal. An offensive onslaught. To the paint. Here's Irving. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. Irving's got six here in this quarter. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Stolen by Levert. Oh, and a fast break for the Nets. Knocks it loose. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Here's Antetokounmpo, and Giannis throws it down. And Antetokounmpo is really an absolute terror in the open floor. I mean, love seeing a guy his size run the floor the way he does. Wow. Impressive. Leosova finds Levert. Jacks up a three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And so Milwaukee again turning it over. So both teams changing it up here. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. The, the defensive awareness, the timing. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. The Nets have gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. Irving against Bledsoe. Now here's Levert. Five points in the game. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. To the inside. Lopez. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And, you know, the lead just keeps growing. I mean, this game is not going to get out of their grip. They're going to keep pulling away. Leonard kicks to Irving. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Irving's got nine points in the quarter. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Feeds to Antetokounmpo. Back to Bledsoe. A three for DiVincenzo. And another three for Milwaukee. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Nailed from three-point land. Irving's got 33 points. Despite the play of the team, I think he's had an outstanding game. He's really done well here. Here's Bledsoe, and the jam by Bledsoe. Bledsoe always bringing that uber intensity, real force that time on the finish as he drove inside. Passes it to Ilya Sobel. DiVincenzo against Levert. Prince outside, just five to shoot. Off target at the rim. Does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. DiVincenzo passes to Yacht, and he gets it to go. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been off. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Leonard, no luck. 
Bucks have gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. A great third quarter for them offensively. Absolutely awesome to watch Antetokounmpo rise up for these throwdowns. I mean, it's really quite easy for him. Timeout called the Nets. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. checked in for Lopez. Gary Payton comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Hill in for Eric Bledsoe. The Nets also changing it up. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Ilyasova. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Lavert. Here's Irving. He sinks the 11-footer. Irving's got 14 points now in the second half. Irving has the touch needed to do damage from just about anywhere, including from there. To the middle. And Payton gets it to go on the assist by Hill. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Down low, here's Dinwiddie. That shot, no good. Peyton with some nice deep. Hill has the open look. The wing jumper off target. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Brooklyn Nets. And again, it's Brooklyn converting. Well, this is a staple, a pillar of Irving's attack. you got to be up on him or he'll pull up on a dime. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Doing all he can so far, but they still find themselves trailing. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bucks. They keep piling up the assists, and they haven't cooled off at all. It's been a hot shooting night for them, too. I mean, they've hit a lot of those mid-range jump shots. Milwaukee making a switch here. Burks has checked in. The free throw drops for Dinwiddie. Bucks leading by 20. Hill passes to Peyton. Giannis drives in. And Giannis throws it down. And Antetokounmpo is just a blur. I mean, I don't know how a seven-foot guy with that wingspan and all legs and arms can be a blur, but man, he's like a lightning bolt when he gets room to roll to the basket. And that one's good. Durant. It's never easy trying to keep him off the glass. He's an absolute beast down there. Irving against Hill. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Hill maintaining his balance there. That's a tough and one finish by the fundamentally sound guard. In last season, just some phenomenal shooting numbers for George Hill. Clark, you know him well from your days in Indiana. Certainly do and have great admiration and respect for George. He's a business-like pro. He's the epitome of what it is to be a pro. Consistent work ethic, understands himself, always looking to improve, knows his role, and has always had a calming and stabilizing influence for every team that he's played on. Durant just inside the line and good and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Boy, his timing is just superb. Durant absolutely lethal on catch and shoot opportunities. And onto Takumbo swings it in. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. And that's an alley-oop that'll be loop-to-loop -loop all day long on the highlight reel. 
KD's shot is good. Yeah, he didn't get a chance to knock one down in the first. But the defense left him a look, and he nailed it. He'll make them pay when he's open. Here's Giannis. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. It's just hard to believe that someone can perform at such a high level. They've got to thank him for this move. Dinwiddie, the bounce pass. Here's Irving. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. Well, you can be the judge of if it's fair or not, but Kyrie Irving has earned himself the reputation of being moody, to say the least. Yeah, and you know, sometimes that sword cuts both ways. Sometimes it's the player, sometimes it's the media, and the media's perception is a combination of the two. Um, clearly, Kyrie can sometimes go off on tangents and come from left field in interviews. I mean, he's not the only player, present or past, that's been guilty of that. One thing you can't deny, though, is this guy loves the game. And uh, it's a matter of continuing to mature and grow as a leader. So I say give him more time, and he'll refine himself in that area. Irving double team. Nobody near Allen. They get it back. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Some great shooters here. Let's check out the league leaders. Number one, Jared Allen. He is a finisher, plain and simple. That field goal percentage just absolutely jumps out at you. It borders on astonishing. And he makes the first. You know, Jordan, to me, is one of the more reliable bigs in the league. He takes a lot of punishment and rarely takes a night off. And so he makes both from the line. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency is, you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. It's basically been all him. I mean, he scored most of the points himself. And Woody with the bucket. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Yet another bucket. And that's 70. He's unbelievable. And, and guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yes. that's for sure. Yes, indeed. Let's just call him ladder climber. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Neither did the defense. Uh, and one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Grant outside. Here's Middleton. Pass to Burks. Grant against Dinwiddie. Six to shoot. Grant the pass to Middleton. No good on the triple. Dinwiddie dishes to Irving. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got his fifth assist in this one. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Milwaukee. He has never been better. This is the most points he's scored in his career. And he is looking to add to it. And we'll be back with you shortly. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy.
And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Grant is out there with Hill. Then there's Alec Burks. Then it's Chris Middleton. And it's Giannis in at the five. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. And that's his second triple of the half. None for him going into the break. Irving against Hill. Pass to Agdekumbo. Here's Burks. Dinwiddie with some nice D. And another one falls. Amazing. He is simply unconscious here tonight. Nobody can stop him right now. GA, the points keep coming, and he's climbing up that scoring ladder. Third on the list, well in sight. And Will Chamberlain holds both the first and third place scoring marks. First, of course, for 100 points, and third place all time with 78. Anytime Wilt's name comes up, you are making history. Free throw, good. Honest. Nets trail by 17. Then Woody surveying the floor. Now the pass to KD. Passes it to Levert. That one, no good. And Milwaukee the other way now. Grant outside. A double team blood so, and the call will be against Karis Levert. That's his first foul. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Grant. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Onto to Kumbo, no good. Nets trail by 17. Here's KD. Got it. Good job in the low post. Durant's got five points in the quarter. Well, that's par for Durant. I mean, that's what he gives you. The ability to score at all three levels. From the low block, here's Giannis. No good. Shot missing. The Nets go the other way with it. Pass to Levert. Takes a three. Brooklyn now working with a new shot clock. Wadso comes over to help. Levert kicks to Ilias Hope. That's good. That's Levert with the assist. Levert's got three assists tonight. Boy, Levert's showing you his unselfishness there. I mean, if you're open, he loves getting you the ball. On to Takumbo with the bucket. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. Here's Durant and the jam by Kevin Durant. Well, I love the speed that Durant has. I mean, fantastic is slashing into the paint and scoring right at the rim. That length of stride of his and his speed, lethal combination. Shoots it up. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. KD's got 18 points just in the second half. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. catch up with our sideline reporter David Aldridge. Thanks Kevin. Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team during the break. He said I want us to play as though we're behind. And again. And that score moving him clear into third all time. 
the scoring in a game. Well, Gia, you just knew it was a matter of time the way he's been playing. I'm sure he's not finished either. Well, he has already cleared Wolf Chamberlain's 78 points. Next up is Kobe's 81. And if he passes that mark, the basketball world is going to be talking about this guy for years. Well, Karis LeVert reads defenders very well. This guy is an instinctive offensive player. Karis LeVert taking two shots. And the first one drops. Well, you know what? I think you got to be excited about Levert's potential. This kid seems to get better and add more to his game every year. Both shots good from the strike. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Outside, out of the Kumbo. He got it again. Sensational. And incredible. Never thought we'd see another player score this much. I mean, it feels surreal, doesn't it? That, that score puts him time for the second most points in an NBA game. What a historic night. And to think when the night started that we'd see someone match Kobe's 81, his performance has been nothing short of magnificent. And so it's Durant with it. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. Down by 12. Dinwiddie passes to KD. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. 32 points for KD. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. Middleton for three. Traps in the train. And the Bucks lead by 13. Well, there's a good reason this guy shoots as many threes as he does. Chris Middleton is a knockdown three-point shooter. Allen surveying the D. Six on the shot clock. Tinwitty drives in. And it's Levert missing. Early on, he tried to shoot his way out of this funk. But later in the game now, he might want to just give it up and look for his teammates to do the score. Just rubbing it in their faces with that gun. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on him. Durant with a wide open look. And just miss after miss right now. There's the lob. And another one goes. Incredible. And he is ripping through this defense and continues his assault on the record book. That score moving him clearly into second place for most points in a game. To think that he has eclipsed Kobe's mark of 81 and now has his sights set on 100. This is a game you'll be talking about for decades. Bucks leading by 19 points. To the paint. Nine feet out. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Brooklyn's gone a disappointing 2 of 6 on three-point attempts here in the fourth. And that one's good. Durant looking strong to the finish. When Durant locks in on scoring, nobody's stopping. On the Dekumbo against Eliasova. And it's Giannis missing. Nets trail by 17. Here's Levert. Sent back by Lopez. Big Brook Lopez gobbling up space and getting the block on that play. Kyrie Irving is checked in for Dinwiddie. Bucks leading by 17. Even Chenzo passes to Bledsoe. Irving against Even Chenzo. He kicks it to Lopez. Bledsoe for three. 
Allen with the rebound. Allen's Nets trail by 17. Durant trying to break free, but he stays with it. Levert against Anadokounmpo. Middleton with it. Inside, Lopez. And it's sent back by Allen. throw no good for out of the Kumbo Nets trail by 19 they could use a big shot here to get this offense going too many empty possessions right now they need the basket and the double up out of the Kumbo Lopez passes to DiVincenzo here's onto the Kumbo and you know at almost seven feet tall onto the Kumbo is it's dangerous down inside, really. I mean, the defense has to be physical with him if they want to have a chance at preventing him from scoring in the paint. Taking two shots. That's good from out of the Kumbo. In the league, taking steps to discourage teams, Greg, from tossing away seasons in search of high draft picks. Has enough been done, you think, in that regard? You can. We'll see. <laughs> I tell you, the, the idea of a play-in that's tournament a tough one, isn't it? Oh, for the last a... few playoff spots, I think that's a good idea. Actually, uh, yeah. it might keep more teams in the hunt down the stretch. Uh, and I think the onus also, if the fans put enough pressure on their teams to try to develop what they have and not always put it on the future I, I think that's going to help but I, I think you're going to always have a little bit of that moving forward here's DiVincenzo and a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in you've got to love his hustle leaving the defense no time to react and you know you're going to get those buckets guys when you're quick to get out on the break get that ball up the court as fast as you can the shot by Bledsoe nobody around his three-pointer is off the mark. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. And they call an illegal screen here. And he has to take that long, slow walk back to the bench here. He, he'll watch the rest of this one from the sideline. And, and guys, this is where their depth really comes into play. They, they've got such talent at that position. They'd love to have him out there, but they won't suffer much of a drop off. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Allen. Here's Hansa Takumbo and the slam dunk by Hansa Takumbo. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. A shot by Jordan, no good. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Here's Middleton. Makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. Middleton, so good under pressure. He's always composed and under control. Here's LeBron. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's Greg, your son's been drafted. You were drafted in the NBA. As you look back on the process that you went through and your son Cole has gone through, uh, what are some of the flags? What are some of the things that stand out to you? First and foremost, boy, how time flies. I mean, it wasn't yeah, no that long kidding. ago, at least no it feels kidding. like, that they were calling my ni name on draft night. But 91, know, right? Yeah. 91. You know, every stage of life, though, has its joys. And listen, to play the game I love and now see him playing it at this level, it's truly a blessing. And in his case, he, he probably loves it even more. You know, he didn't grow up the way I did. He, he grew up just with a true love and passion for the game. So it's humbling and, and obviously something that I take great pride in. You were taken out of UNLV 1991, number 12 overall. You remember it like it was yesterday. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Back to Grant. 
Good on the shot. Good solid execution inside. That's exactly the look you want. There's 126 left here in the fourth quarter. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Bucks. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in, in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And this will be a big win for them. Lucky win number 13 now in the bag. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And that next meeting will be their second and final game of the season series being in opposite conferences. So you bet nobody wants to get swept even in a two-game season series. I think the next game will be hotly contested. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He was really important under the basket, making the plays down low and getting position to pull in rebounds. And the Nets making a change here. Prince has checked in. Good on both. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for him. That's something they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. Here's Chiosa. Down to five on the shot clock. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they got to be happy with the outcome. And here is Williams. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly. And the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Giannis, obviously a big matchup tonight. How locked in were you all tonight? We came out tonight. We knew it was going to be a tough game. Uh, we played hard. We played together, and uh, that's why we got the win. And I'm really proud of uh, my teammates. Well, it was a team effort that led to a big W, man. I appreciate your time. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.